Hi, my name is Sean Young, creator of the Bootstraps Asset Building Education Program. Today, along with AARP and the AARP Foundation, I would like to talk about budgeting. It's very exciting, I know, but I think I can provide some useful insights. There are things about budgeting you may not have considered to help you along with some different ideas, you might want to view our previous video entitled The Receipt Exercise on the AARP Colorado site if you have not done so already. So what's a budget? A budget is a plan. It's simply a plan for where your money is intended to go. Businesses have them. You may already have a personal budget. It's a common practice to make a plan for your money and it's good practice to try to stick to that plan. And it's important because it can help us reach our goals. Now, on a budget sheet, there are typically sections for your gross income and your net income. The difference is determined by the amount you pay for taxes, insurance, and benefits. Now, take heed in the amount you pay for these because many people discount these expenses, and in truth, you're really spending your money here. Your taxes are spent on certain government functions, whether you agree or disagree with how the money is spent. Um, insurance and benefits spending uh, also serves a purpose, and it's important that you don't discount these expenses. In your lifetime, you will need to use that insurance and, and collect those benefits and, uh, if you have not already. So many people feel like they have no control over this section of their budget, but in actuality, you do have some control. You, you could not pay taxes. You can choose how you pay your taxes, uh, you know, your insurance policy or benefits. There's a lot of control within there, and, uh, and, but there are, there are always consequences to the choices that you make. Then next on the budget, we have a list of expenses with column titles, expected, actual indifference. Oh. So what does it mean to stick to a budget? Generally, it means that spending and saving as you originally intended or spending according to the expected column. So let's say you plan to spend $200 on groceries and only exceed that amount by a few dollars. It is safe to say that you're, you're basically sticking to the budget. But if you only spend $100 on groceries when you plan to spend $200, even though you didn't spend as much, you still aren't sticking to the plan and you need to make some adjustments. This is so you can get the most out of your money. And testing the budget needs to be done periodically in order to make budgeting effective, and this is where the actuals column comes into play. The actuals are an account of your true spending behavior. There shouldn't be any guesswork in the actual section of the budget. If you're doing the receipt exercise, which I'm sure you are after you watch the first video, then your actuals should be pretty much ready to go. Once you write the actual next to what you expected to spend on your budget sheet, you can then calculate the difference, which will help you adjust your plan. Keep in mind that your spending probably won't be consistent month to month, so you may want to do this for a few months of getting actuals before you begin to start adjusting your expected spending. So why can't people stick to their budgets? Well, because people find it difficult to keep expenses limited sometimes, or they spend more than they had planned to, uh, or they have to add budget items after they have already spent the money, or they do a collection of things. And then there's also unforeseen expenses that come up as necessary, such as medical bills or car repairs. But a healthy budget put together over time will set aside significant portions of money in case of those, those kinds of emergencies. So. In addition to saving every receipt for every penny, start making a plan for where your money will go, then track the actuals, and most importantly is adjust the plan accordingly. When you see where the money goes, you'll be able to, to start eliminating wasteful spending, begin spending with a purpose, and ultimately begin saving some money. So next up on our video trainings will be time value. Check that section out. And again, I'm Sean Young with the AARP and AARP Foundation bringing this to you for Money Smart Week.